using Blender and blend for web free software, it's relatively easy to make a web-based vehicle simulation like this. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this simple car. Click the Object Properties button, change the name of the cube to Chassis. Set the X scale to 1.5, the Y scale to 2.5, and the Z scale to 0.5, and set the Z location to 1. Click the Material button, click the Diffuse color, and set the green and blue values to 0. Add Mesh Cube, click the Browse Material button, and select the red material. Click the Object Properties and set the Y location to 0.5 and the Z location to 1.5. Add Mesh Cylinder, set the Y rotation to 90 and in the Object menu Apply Rotation. Press S to scale 0.5 and Enter and set the X location to 1.7, the Y location to 1.5, and the Z location to 0.5. Set the X scale to 0.1 and name the cylinder wheel BL for back left. Duplicate the wheel, hold down shift, press D and enter. Set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 1.5 and name the duplicate wheel FL front left. Duplicate again, hold down shift, press D and enter. Set the X location of the new duplicate to minus 1.7 and the name to FR front right. Duplicate again, hold down shift, press D and enter and set the Y location of the duplicate to plus 1.5 and name the duplicate wheel BR for back right. Add mesh plane Press S to scale 40 and enter. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click the Physics Properties. Tick Object Physics and Collision Bounds. Select the Chassis. Tick Object Physics. Change the Physics Type to Rigid Body. Tick No Sleeping. Set the Mass to 500 and tick Collision Bounds. Tick Vehicle Physics and open up the panel. Set the vehicle name to Car and the part is already set to Chassis. This is where most of the vehicle physics settings are that you might want to experiment with. Select the cube, tick Vehicle Physics, set the vehicle name to Car. Looking at the car parts and hovering over steering wheel, the tooltip says optional but unless an object is allocated to the steering wheel, the simulation won't work. Select the wheel, change the physics type to no collision. Tick vehicle physics, set the vehicle name to car. And the name of the object is wheel BL for back left. Look for the part back left wheel. Select the wheel, physics, no collision. Vehicle, name car, wheel FL, front left wheel. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the wheel, physics type, no collision, tick vehicle, name car, and it's wheel BR back right. Select the wheel, physics, no collision, vehicle, car, and it's wheel FR front right. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the camera, 
click the object properties, zoom back with the mouse wheel, press G to grab, Z for the Z axis and Z for Z local and using the mouse move the camera back until the X location is about 30. Change the view to the camera view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Click fast preview to load the scene into the scene viewer. In the bottom corner are the controlled object and selected object indicators. At the moment the controlled object is the camera. If I press the letter Q key the controlled object becomes none. If I click the car chassis, it becomes the chassis. If I press the W key, the car will move forwards. If I press the A key, the wheels will turn. And if I hold down both together, the car will go round in a circle. Pressing S, the car will go back. Pressing D, the wheels will turn in the opposite direction. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to upload the scene to the internet. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.